Hi, and welcome back to the Circuit Playground Express tutorial. In this section, we're going to learn how to power and connect our Circuit Playground Express to the PC. So, if we look at the board, we have a micro USB port at the top side of the board, which is what we use to connect to the computer. It's important to note that some micro USB cords out there are just used for powering and don't have data lines in them. So make sure that your micro USB is a full micro USB and can, can transmit data. So in order to connect, we just plug it into the board and it'll pop up on our computer as a new drive. C play boot is what it's called when all the lights are green. It would, if we have a program that we want to run on the board already and we don't want it to connect immediately, we can hit the reset button to exit bootloader mode. But we'll go over that more in the next section. So if we don't want to power from a USB cord, the other options that we have is a battery pack. So if we want to take a battery pack to power our board, there's a GST.-PH connector on the bottom of the board. We can plug in two AA or three AAA batteries to that, or we can power it off of a 3.7 volt lithium ion uh, battery. But I really recommend the, the AA or AAA battery pack because they're safer. You don't need to worry about recharging them and they're just easy to use. And there's a built-in power regulator on the board, so it will accept anything between three and a half and six and a half volts. So anything over that and you might damage the board and anything under it won't be enough to run the board properly. So that's quite a bit of range though and it allows you to power from a variety of sources which is really nice. So in the next section we'll talk about how to load our first code onto our Circuit Playground Express. Stick around.